My name is Sheila Kanapan. I'm an associate professor in the physics and astronomy department at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. And this is inside a scientist's suitcase. My field of research is galaxy evolution, and that means I study uh, a whole lot of interconnected questions. I'm actually the principal investigator of the Resolve Survey. The Resolve Survey is a census, actually, uh, so counting every single galaxy in a large volume of the nearby universe, trying to measure the stars, gas, dark matter in every object, in every larger structure that those objects form. So we've got a volume so large that we can see the filaments and walls that galaxies form in the larger cosmic web structure of the universe. Well, I, I think the most fun thing about the Resolve Survey for me is that it's like playing in a sandbox because we're trying to learn everything about everything within this volume. And once we do, whatever training I came in with or whatever questions I already knew something about go out the window because now I have all this data and I have to make sense of it. And so I get to constantly learn new things. I don't have uh, the specific expertise um, that I had from a you know, graduate student days are um, things like understanding the internal motions of galaxies, which we call kinematics, and uh, later studied the internal stellar populations of galaxies. With me, I have my computer because you can't go anywhere without your laptop. And also my cell phone because like most Americans, you gotta have your smartphone. Now one thing you'll see that will be different from any other astronomer, well, almost any other astronomer you meet, is I do not have a Mac. <laughs> I actually have a Lenovo. This is a ThinkPad. And the reason I do is because when I travel, I tend to beat my things up. I tend to drop them and Lenovo's are built like tanks. My talent is not so much in discovering new classes of object or anything like that, as in seeing things from a different perspective than other people have. Um, and I think there's still room in astronomy for people not to need to have the very best data, but to actually go back to the data we already have and see new patterns in it. <laughs>